SOLIDWORKS 2020 gives us some nice new tools for making our drawings faster and better. For the drawing scale, we've had the ability to change the sheet scale from the pop-up menu in the status bar for years. But now in SOLIDWORKS 2020, the available scales that are listed are actually going to be controlled through a text file. So for different drawing standards, we can have different scales listed. If we want to save a few mouse clicks when we're creating custom scales, we can use the user to find option in the pop-up menu as well to come in and very quickly create a custom scale on the fly. When it comes to detail views, if we come in and create a detail view over here, now from the property manager of the detail view, we can also get access to that custom scale very quickly. So just working on our different scales, being able to access them much nicer and much faster. There's some exciting new tools for dimensioning. When it comes to adding dimensions to our drawing here, we can use the chain dimension now. It's very similar to the baseline dimension, so let's see how it works. We can come in and choose a bottom edge, and then come in and pick additional entities we want to stack on top of each other. If we come in and pick a couple lines, we can see how they're all stacked there. If we get out of the dimension tool, we can always come back in and add uh, another mm, entity to the chain. So maybe we come in and pick on, say, that edge right there. We've also got the ability to right click and add an overall dimension. Let's see what happens when we come in and delete some of these dimensions. We can see the others update. They're the overall updated. Here, if we delete this one, the others are going to update. We've got the ability as well to come in and convert these all back over to baseline. Conversely, we can change the baseline over to this new chain dimension as well. There's another interesting option here for the alternate position view. We've had the alternate position view for years, but it was only available for assembly level drawings. Now we've got the option for parts as well. So if we're going to represent a cast and machine version, maybe we can come in and use a configuration of this part to show the cast version overlaid. We could even come in and throw a dimension on here to to maybe annotate you know, how much material we're going to be removing from the cast version. So what other areas would this new alternate position view be useful for? How about documenting parts that might bend or flex, like a straw or bellows? Here we've got a couple examples of a bendy straw. You can see the shaded version and then the overlaid of the other configuration. How about a spring in multiple different stretched or compressed states? Um, when we're coming in and maybe looking at a part with a living hinge, like a styrofoam to-go box, maybe that would be an option. Uh, do we need to show motion or movement of a multi-body part? Another option for the alternate position view. What about min-max options on a part? Here we've got some tolerances of a slot. I didn't show too many of them, but you can show a couple different configurations there of that part. Uh, so who knows what other options people might think of. So these are just a few of the examples of the What's New items in SOLIDWORKS 2020 that we've been asking for for a while, or maybe we never thought to even ask for. They should allow us to document our designs faster and make them much clearer to those who are reading them.